you're all having a great day today. We are going to be eating some ramen. This is the Nang Shim Bowl Noodle Soup Spicy Seafood Flavor. So I think this is the same as like a cup of noodle, but it's the bowl of noodle. Okay, so these are probably going to be kind of cheaper noodles, but it's okay. Still from Nong Shim, so might have that good flavor that I like. Right off the bat, I'm seeing some little fish cakes. I like that. I like it. I like it. All right, we're kind of dunking that top layer that was sitting out of the water. And I'm going to add some lime because I like that. Mmm, yes. Well, I do half for now. And I guess I should insert some footage of some beautiful ramen footage, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Now that's some beautiful ramen. Okay. Let's eat some ramen tonight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these are a smaller gauge noodle. I really like those kimchi noodles because they're like kind of a, a flat noodle. It's a little bit thicker than these ones. Not the best flavor ever. Mediocre. But that's the thing with ramen, is you know, sometimes there will be a swing and a miss. It happens every now and again. I tried to find the Mama Tom Yum soup and I couldn't find it. They had creamy Tom Yum. They had Tom Yum from another company. But there was not the mama Tom Yum, so that was kind of disappointing. And then I think um, somebody else asked for like the chili ramen from this brand, and I can't find that either. Mmm, that lime though saves it. Let's try the broth. Because that's really where the flavor's at. <coughs> Pretty spicy. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. And my water. On a scale from one to bull knock, this is probably a seven or eight. And a bull knock's a ten. I just love that kimchi ramen so much. That's all I want right now. I'm so addicted to it. I saw it today at the store and was like, I could just grab that one. Let's try to get some of this liquid down. Ooh, that fish cake was not too bad. Part of it is really temperature hot wise very hot. Temperature hot wise, temperature wise very hot.
Mm. And then just, just whatever remnants I got in these limes. I love, I love lime. What I should get is just some kimchi and I should chop it up. But that's not what I like. I like that it's like these rehydrated little like flakes of kimchi. Ugh. That's what I like. I mean, it has a nice flavor, especially with as much lime as I had. That really gets it to the flavor I like. I don't like it to be spicy, but limey, citrusy. Oh, I'm glad I have a napkin because we are we're gonna start dripping here in a minute. Mmm. 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 And the one I have next week is going to be a Japanese ramen. So that would so that should be interesting. A lot of these are either like I mean they say they're from California, but I don't know if they're trying to imitate a Korean ramen or a Japanese ramen. Nong Shim is from the US though. Shockingly enough. Oh baby, hot, hot, hot. There is some kind of vegetable in here. Let's find out. No! No! I should have read this. There is beef in it. Beef in so long. Ma, honey, honey has beef in it. Honey, honey, honey. It's got beef. Why would you do that to me, Ashley? Why would you buy yourself? Fucking ramen with beef in it. Oh, I feel terrible. Not like, I don't, like, my stomach doesn't hurt yet, but it's going to. Less than 2%. Then why do you even have to add it? I knew it didn't taste right. Oh, I'm so mad now. I didn't want to finish it. But I've already eaten it, so there's no point in, like, getting this far. Cabbage, carrots, and green onions. That's all I wanted to know what kind of vegetables were in it. I found out that there's beef in it. see any comments that I'm whiny. I was overacting. 
It's called exaggeration, people. If you cannot get that, then that's not my problem. If you can't get sarcasm and overacting. But then I'll have people on like the Bulldog video be like, you're exaggerating on that one. And I'm like, um, I know, bitch. I'm so upset. I really don't want to finish it, but there's no point in like starting to eat something that has beef in it. Like I've already consumed it. Why? Like. What is stopping going to do? The beef's already in my body. For shame. If any of you watch Game of Thrones, I need to freaking be sent through the square like Cersei for my business. Shame. 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 You didn't look at the packaging. Shame. My nose is running. Shame. Now I just want it to be over with so that I don't have to keep eating this. I like the vegetable bits in here. My stomach already hurts. Probably from me just working myself up. I'm pretty sure 2% of nothing, 2% of it's not gonna make me that sick, but probably a little bit. I get sick from eating beef, that's why I don't eat beef. Same with pork, is I get sick Plus, it's gr it grosses me out. Like, to just think about eating a pig, blah, bleh, no thank you. Same for cow. Like, I don't need to eat cows. <sighs> I'm sorry, cow. And all the fish that died for this. With shame in my heart, I finish it. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will be back here tomorrow night for some pizza. If you enjoyed this ramen mukbang, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you like to see more. I make new videos Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.